This is the movie news, as brought to you by me, Generally Nerdy, right here on the channel, Generally Nerdy, of whatever platform you might be watching on, probably YouTube. Uh, if you want to see the entire episode, the full news show, then follow the top link in the description, again, assuming you're on YouTube. Or, if you are not, then check out youtube.com slash generallynerdy, generallynerdy.net, those are the places to go do the thing. Let's get into the news before I lose my breath. Movies is also going to be relatively quick because, again, things are just kind of a little weird, partially because of Shang-Chi, but we'll get into that in just a second. So, first and foremost, we have a follow-up. Venom, this one would have been in the beginning of the week episode, but, you know, didn't do the beginning of the week episode. We did the photography video instead. Go check that out if you have not yet. Uh, but Venom, Let There Be Carnage, has been bumped up a couple of weeks and not back like we were thinking it was going to. So instead of being released on uh, October 15th, it is now going to be released on October 1st. Thank you very much to Shang-Chi. Uh, Shang-Chi, Shang-Chi, I apologize if there's a proper way to say that. I've definitely heard it both ways. Either way. Uh, so this, this, this kind of leads me to a reasonably nerdy moment. So uh, Shang-Chi, while we're on the subject, they're saying that it's it's the reason that we have this bounce back. Well, I don't know. So a lot of places, a lot of the more conservative nerd news outlets are saying Shang-Chi is going to be a flop because in order for it to be profitable, it has to make somewhere in the neighborhood of 400 to 500 million. I might be remembering those numbers wrong. It might be three to 400. Either way, 400 is the middle. So we're going to stick with that number. It has to make approximately $400 million in order to be profitable in order to break even, I believe, actually. So if it gets above $400 million, then they make money. If it doesn't, then, you know, they kind of break even and they, it was a gamble nonetheless. So 139.7 million dollars is a very large number is in fact the largest number we've seen in a long time. What with, you know, the pandemic and whatnot. So that's the first weekend. It was a four day weekend. It was, you know, a number of factors playing into this. It was also a better than average, though only slightly Marvel movie. That's 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 significant. If they can continue to give us quality, then yes, I think this is a good sign for things to come. If this is a one off and they continue to give us Black Widow, then it's probably just a blip in the radar and the Marvel tank is going to continue to sink. Do I think Shang-Chi is a flop? Not really. <laughs> uh, 139 million is almost halfway to where they need to go, depending on which uh, figure you are looking at, depending on who's giving you the figures. So if they can continue this momentum for another two to three weeks, Absolutely, it will be an amazing victory for Marvel. If it drops off similarly to what we have seen previously, then no, this is going to lose them money. And I don't know if you could necessarily say it is a flop, but it is not a great movie. Uh, as I said previously, it is a medio middle of the road slightly above average kind of marvel movie and it's got some great fight choreography so we're gonna stick with that and hope that that is the thing that marvel learns from this and not the woke politics that they're trying to shove down everyone's throat anyway that's just my little bit of reasonableness uh, you know let's let's keep an eye on it but it, it's too early to call it a flop moving right along moving right along we have Trailers, and yes, you know what trailer I'm going to start with. The Matrix Resurrections has dropped its first trailer, full-on trailer, not just a teaser, though it is a brain tease because this is a bonkers trailer. Go watch it if you have not watched it already. Again, December 22nd is the release date for this movie. Uh, we can confirm, so let's get a little reasonable one more time. Reasonable things that we can conclude from this trailer are as follows. We already know, confirmed, that Yahya, uh, Yahya Abdul Mateen II is in fact playing a version of Morpheus. A version, specifically, not the Morpheus, 
we can also reasonably assume that that leak, that the quote unquote leak that came out approximately two or three days ago, if you have not seen it yet, you should do just a little bit of digging. You should be able to find it fairly easily is not entirely 100% accurate based off of what we know from Warner Brothers directly. We do know that this is going to disregard, at least that is what they're alluding to, disregard the second and third Matrix movies and just do a continuation from the first movie. So that leak, again, if you know which one I'm talking about, it goes into great detail of the entire story of the movie. Part of that is debunked by the fact that it's it's disregarding those second two movies. So, let's get into a real quick Matrix theory from Generally Nerdy. All right, so my theory based on this trailer is as follows. Uh, I don't believe that the vocabulary in the Warner Brothers release is accurate in that it is very specifically calling out the first movie and excluding the second movies. It doesn't say that we are disregarding the second movies. It just talks a lot about the first movie. So I think they are continuing with that con continuity. So some of the things from that leak are probably accurate. Why is Trinity there when she died in the third movie? Who freaking knows? My theory is that Trinity is there because she is a memory planted in the Matrix by the machines in order to keep Neo there in order to maintain this weird balance. Neo's memories are going crazy because he is the one. And then we have Neil Patrick Harris's character who, uh, I, I can't remember what they referred to him in the leak, but Neil Patrick Harris is obviously the program that is keeping Neo sane in the Matrix. He's maintaining this balance. So very likely he is going to be our big bad. I don't believe that it's going to play out exactly the way they have it in that leak, but it's probably going to be something close to that. Also, the big thing about the end of this trailer is who is the guy that calls the Matrix by name? Apparently that is going to be none other than Agent Smith. And again, I feel like Agent Smith is going to be a little more important than what they allude to in that leak, though I think the possibility of Agent Smith becoming more important later again in this it, what we're presuming is going to be a trilogy for, of these Matrix movies probably is a little more likely though I think he's going to have more than just two guest appearances in this movie so Hugo Weaving is out as Agent Smith uh, Lawrence Fishburne is out as Morpheus yes these things we know are true but we only know for certain that Morpheus is in there. We don't know for certain that that is actually Agent Smith. So that is my kind of rough super sketch theory. That's where we're sitting right now. Let's move the hell away from the Matrix and staying in trailers. We're talking about Injustice. Super stoked on this one. We do have an announcement for the cast. Uh, I was going to read it. It is a whole bunch it's kind of irrelevant. There is a lot of great voice actors in here. If you really want to read the casting, you're going to have to check out generallynerdy.net for the entire cast list because I do have it up there. That is what we have for trailers. Let's move into news. And we only have one piece of news. And this one is almost kind of sort of confirming a rumor. So Marvel Disney is putting things on hold on the Russo Brothers movie. So, what we are confirming as far as the rumor is concerned is that the Russo Brothers are in fact in discussion with Marvel side of Disney for a movie. The other half of that rumor is that that movie that they were in discussion for was Secret Wars. That part has not been confirmed, but we do know they were talking to Marvel specifically, and that has now been put on hold because of the whole situation with Scarlett Johansson, though I think the Shang-Chi development is going to go a long way in lubing the wheels, if you will, uh, kind of getting things rolling once again, because they all fears are seemingly ha uh, have been abated. So uh, that is where that stands. That is what we have for the movie section. And that is all of the movie news that is worth talking about as far as the nerd sphere is concerned. If you want to see all of the other sections, again, top link in the description, generalnerdy.net, youtube.com slash generalnerdy, 
Patreon.com slash German Nerdy, all of the wonderful places. Thank you for joining me again, nerds. Before we go, always, always remember that if it's generally nerdy, it's probably here. <laughs>